What's up guys and welcome to RimWorld the Maze Runner. This hand-built maze is over 75,000 tiles in size and is filled to the brim with monsters, traps, turrets, and other deadly things. Sending our colonists into the maze will be absolutely brutal because not only do we have all that stuff in the maze, but the tunnels themselves are dangerous. They are long and filled with lots of little side tunnels that you don't know where they lead. Some of these tunnels are so long that they'll wrap around the entire map just to lead to a dead end. And this isn't even the worst part. Deep inside the maze there is an insect hive. And this hive will keep multiplying in size the longer we play. Also as a small side note, this maze took me a very long time to build. And it will actually be available in the video description if you want to try it yourself. Alright, with all that out of the way, let's get into the game. Alright, let's do this. If first things first, we need to unforbid everything. Let's just do that real quick. Uh, anything else? Don't see it. Alright. We'll go and explore the maze real quick. Or the glade. We're not actually in the maze yet. We'll explore the maze later. Oh, I heard an explosion. I don't know if you guys heard that, but you probably saw the screen shake. Uh, yeah, that was something exploding in the maze. Remember those traps I was talking about? Well, we're not the only ones that can hit those. So... Yeah, there, there's also some rats in the maze, and they like to set them off. But there's more than enough for all of us. Um, let's see. We have 8 components, 75 uh, cloth, a lot of steel, some, some guns. Alright, so who is the best at shooting? You are. You can have that. You can have that. You can have that. We don't really want to get melee with them. But, I guess, it'd be good to have someone on that. You can have the bow. Alright, so let's start setting up where we want to live. I think we'll just build around the box. Let's see, how big is that? That is... I hope if I selected the right tool. That is 5x5, five five. perfect. Alright, so we're just going to set up some basic housing here uh, because obviously they're going to need places to sleep now I'm not going to go into the maze yet because it is deadly there's going to be all sorts of stuff in there so the doors are all going to open tomorrow um, and then we'll see about going in now unfortunately I wasn't able to get these doors to be automated so they're not going to open by themselves I, I tried, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll see about doing that in the future. And also, we should put a fishing zone here, as well as growing zones. That would be good. Let's put rice. Um, probably put a zone right there. No, I don't like that. Let's see how long is this? this? Is six? Okay, that's actually perfect for more housing if we want. So we're gonna plan for that. If we have another road right here, we can put the growing zones on the other side. So that's 5 by 19. I think that's okay. Put another zone right there. And this one will be for heel root. Can't grow that yet. And we'll have one for the cotton plants. Alright. So they can get the work on that. Let's start putting down some beds. We need to get a stockpile up as well. And research. That's actually another thing. We very much need research. Because we don't even have beds right now. Forgot about that. So. You get to sleep on rocks, whoever's there. <laughs> um, let's go ahead. Uh, where do I want this? I guess it's fine. It's a little bit out of the way. But I don't want it to be that close to the base. Because we are going to be expanding. And there's actually a bunch of stuff sitting there. I just noticed. So. Get all that. You need to get hunted. You're going to kill all the squirrels. And other animals we have for food supply. Cut down lots of those. Um, let's see. How big do I want the production area? Let's go with something like. It'd help if I actually zoomed out so I could see it. Um, let's go with something like that. 15 by 15 sounds good. 
Is that enough though? I don't know it's enough inside for storage, but I think it's too much for this, maybe. Maybe not. It might not be. We'll try it. I think that should be fine. Because it is going to collapse after a certain point, and I don't want it to collapse. Because it's going to crush everything underneath. But I think it should be good. We'll just go ahead, put stuff in there. Uh, I don't expect to be seeing a lot of mechanoids, but and it's possible. Anything's possible in RimWorld. Uh, this is a pretty large maze. As you can see, it's huge. And there are all sorts of little interesting things inside of this maze. There's like these overgrown areas, there's traps, landmines, it's huge. And then we have those monsters running around the maze as well. So that, those aren't going to help. We actually have a bunch of berries here we could harvest. Alright, um... Ooh. Oh, where are you? you have ten zombies. So, open that. I'm just going to open all the doors. Now let's get someone over there here to help. Who's Ian? Whoever has eaten. You did. Okay. You can just scout this out for me so I can open all the doors. Um, again, these are not automated, unfortunately. I did have something set up for them, but it turned out to be just so annoying to deal with because I'd have to do it manually all the time, so we're not going to use that. Uh, maybe another time. So let's just go through here. This is more tedious than it should be. I think I forgot to claim these. So, yeah. Oh, yep. All right. Right there. That's a trap. That could kill one of our colonists just like that. Yeah, I'm starting to wish I... I cannot believe I forgot to do this. I should have done this before. But uh, it won't take that long. We're almost done anyway. Now, uh, since these are all going to be open, oh, we should kill him too because he's going to eat the stuff. We don't really want him eating our food supply. Um, because these are open, anything can just walk out. Also, yes, I am aware that I put way too many doors here, but uh, I forgot to change the design, so it's fine. They're supposed to be the really big doors. So I guess I kind of did what I wanted. Now I actually want to review one thing real quick here. Okay, that that looks good. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, that's good. Um, only seven. Oh, they're already getting killed in there. Hmm. Interesting. I wasn't expecting it to go down that fast. Six. Huh. Oh well. Uh, we should get some production buildings up. So let's go right here like that. Um, no, not like that. See, I need to split it. So I'll split it like that. And is that enough? That should be enough. We'll put, I don't have stone cutting. I, we're one tile short. There we go. That should be enough, I think. No, now we're one tile too long. <laughs> I suck. I know. Um, there we go. Let's go ahead. We can actually build this, but do I want to? Because we have a very limited uh, s steel supply. That's what I'm trying to say. So I think we're actually just going to go with a campfire. Uh, we'll, we'll get an electric a stove once we get to that. Steel and components are going to be very hard to get. And the reason for that is because there's not going to be any ore whatsoever. So we have to be very wary on how much we actually use. Um, where do I want to put that? So let's see. If we put another road right here. We could put the research stuff in there. But I don't think that's enough space. So I might do this on the other side. I could do it in here. I could just make this a big research room for later. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, let's do that. Um, 
the research bench. And we'll get this. We could be using tents, but we don't have a lot of cloth, so we wouldn't get very far with that. Actually, yeah, I don't even know if we can make one of these. Oh, we can make these, but it's not that great. Oh, hunting. I forgot to give you hunting. Now, our animals... I have never really done ranching in RimWorld, so this is going to be new for me. Oh, uh, we do have a lot of them, though. Actually, that's what we can put over there. We can make this a little stable. I could put fence here if I want to later. No, because we do have farm fences. That might be nice. But we don't need that right now. Right now, we need to get things done. So let's go ahead and put some doors on everything. We need some flooring. Only we'll put where it needs it. And then we're going to need... Oh, we're running out of wood. We're going to need some light later. See, any more predators I should know of. Mega spider. Mega spider. Oh. Um, the zombies might kind of be helping us a little bit. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, there should be plenty in there. I might have... Maybe I should have put a little bit more in that, but it's fine. Wait, what is that noise? Ooh, did you see that? I don't know if you guys can hear that or if you saw that, but for a moment there was something in there that flashed red, and right now I can hear growling back there, which means on the other side of that wall is a zombie. Oh, there's one right there. Wait, what? How did you get there? Oh, there's one there too. Where are you coming from? Oh man. Oh, it's because of the fog of war. That's why I can't, because we have the little mini fog of war. I can't see when they're coming in until they're already in. Um, I was not expecting to see that so soon. Interesting. That is very interesting. Um, we're going to need to watch for that. Because they do, they are actual zombies. They will infect us. And we don't have a way of curing it. So, ooh, a visitor. Um, <laughs> yeah, good luck getting in, buddy. There, You'll have to go a pretty long way around to get, get in. Um, let's grab this. Just go grab all the food supplies real quick. So even in the glade, we are not safe. We could die at any moment just inside the glade. And those weren't even the big threats I put in there. There's some really nasty stuff in there. I don't know what we'll do with this. Maybe, actually no, maybe we should be using the box as the research room. Because it's already got some nice tiles there. So I think we'll do that. And then we can get some steel from it as well. So let's just make, well, it's already the right size, so. And then we'll take these ones off. So that way we get a little bit of steel. Oh, it's not the right size. What size is this then? No, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Never mind. Uh, getting confused. All right, we can do that. There are so many zombies. I wasn't expecting them to spawn that fast. It is maxed out at 10 because we are tribals, more or less. But, uh, yeah, they're just instantly coming. I didn't expect them to spawn so quickly. Um, let's get a... Did we build this? No, we don't have that yet. Um, we need basic furniture, but we could also use stone cutting. And you know what we should be doing? We should be making walls. Because if there are going to be zombies on the map, we should have walls. Just some basic ones. Oh, actually, you know what? We'll just link this. And just do that. Something's sleeping there. Um, 
Yeah, I know we don't have enough wood for this, but we'll get more. I will extend over there later. For the moment, I am not worried. Palace of Gates. Oh, why are you so small? Why isn't there a double Palace of Gate? That would be so nice. Uh, I guess we can use these. Does that look good? Why are you over there? I'm not really used. Oh, uh, okay. We'll see what that does. <laughs> um, we might need to change some stuff there. These seem like they're a little bit buggy, especially these frames. They they don't seem quite right. I don't even know how we select it. I don't even know if we can select it. Oh wait, hang on. There we go. Okay, let's put you in the right spot. Oh, okay, interesting. So it's one tile above. My screen just sh shook again. Um, let's go ahead. Just expand the tree kind. Oh, that's actually another thing. We need to have a growing zone for trees. Um, this guy's injured. Go look over here, please. All of you are injured. Whoa. Oh, man. Okay. Um, there's a bunch of stuff just sitting here. Go ahead and grab that for me, will you? Uh, I'll select them. Let's go grab this stuff. We could use this. We could really use all that. Even the body. We could use that as well. He's got good stuff on him. And I hear mining. Ooh, the bugs are getting close. Oh man, we need to get these defenses up quickly. I should probably put some embrasures. We'll just stick one on each side of the door. So that way we can shoot at them when they're at the door. I think that will be fine. These don't take that much wood, thankfully. So we should be able to build it. It's only eight wood per wall. And, oh, these are only five. But these are stronger. So, mad squirrel. Wait, where, wait, where was it? I didn't look where it is. There it is. You kill that squirrel real quick. Can you actually hit it, please? That'd be nice. No, shoot at it. Shoot at the squirrel. Use that gun of yours. Don't just go up and hit it with the gun. Why would you do that? Alright, they're not building this, so we need to get on that. Because we do need those. And then we need that research table again. Go ahead. Cancel plans here. Oh, out here as well. We don't need that. Uh, researcher, what are you doing? Fishing. You can be removing floor area. So that way I can put down some real stuff. Oh man, we're gonna need so much wood. And this is that, perfect. Alright, so we can get our cook on this. Uh, you... You can make pemmican first. And then if you can't do that, then just make simple meals, because I really don't... What is this made out of? One meat, one uh, plant. This is just two. All right. So if we run out of meat, then we'll need the other thing. There's actually food over here as well. We can't carry him anywhere. Uh, we're going to make a stockpile zone for bodies right here, I think. And the reason why I'm doing that in the water is because they'll deteriorate faster in there. So that means it's, we don't have to look at it as long. So let's just go and get a bunch of people. Why is it not accessible? Uh, you go get it. Ooh, actually, I don't know if I want that. And I can't seem to be able to haul him. Why can't I haul you? Human-like corpses. Alien corpses? We don't have aliens. Why would... I don't know. We'll, we'll deal with it in the morning. Right now, we need to get this stuff up. And this especially. Something just blew up again. Or at least broke. Yeah, they can mine this stuff. It is really tough. 
Uh, but yeah, they can mine it. Just takes them a while. Uh, also, not all of this maze is made out of uranium. Some of it's made out of steel. That was an accident. Uh, some of them, the maze has two different materials. Uh, I did not intend that, but I didn't want to go back and fix half the maze once I realized. So I figured it'd be fine. There we go. Um, animals. I don't know about these. I don't know how much food they're consuming. It'd be really nice if there was like a menu you can open up. And it said how much of each thing's getting produced. Uh, you consumed. And that is not good. So let's go with temperature. Passive cooler. Actually, let's put it. Let's put it there and there. And then we'll break this and that. There we go. Alright, so builder. Get on. On that. And then we need to make the door as well. Make the door. Construct that door. There we go. Uh, make this. Is this not roofed? It's not roofed, darn it. We'll get someone else to do the roof. I hear so much stuff exploding. Or rather, I see it. I see it exploding because the screen shakes. Uh, and this hasn't been built yet. Kind of interested in how, in how that's going to spawn in. It should line up. I would expect it to line up. It just looks like a, a bad texture there. Um, oh, this is built. Alright, perfect. So we are making basic furniture. Good, good. I would have done some kind, but I don't think it's right. Tactical sling bag. What the heck is a tactical sling bag? Huh. Interesting. Um, let's see. What do we need to do right now? Trees. We need trees. Why is this all bloody? Check that out for me. Because you're bleeding out. Okay. Uh... Yeah, they can't get infected, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, let's go ahead and put a pretty large growing zone. We can actually move this. Uh, we can put a large growing zone here, and this will all be for poplar trees. It's pretty huge, but... Uh, over here, I guess, this is fine. No, wait, no. We'll do it here. This will be for the chunks. Because we don't have a huge amount, so why do we need all this for that? It's not as many as on a normal map. This is the only normal part of the map. Ooh, Chemfield Pond. That's interesting. I had no idea that was there the entire time. Interesting. Oh, uh, we'll make sure to keep that there. Maybe we'll be. Maybe I'll finally learn how to use that. Psychic drone and a heat wave. Seriously? We've just started. Why? How are you guys doing, by the way? Heat stroke, heat stroke. Okay, it's not that bad. Um, rare thrombos. Ooh, good luck getting in, guys. If you do get in, I just can't do anything with you anyway, so. <laughs> and why can't I build. Oh, because the door, that's why. Uh, it's fine. Just build roofs over it. I thought that turkey was a zombie attacking something for a second. <laughs> like, wait, what? Wild man wanders in. Oh man, there is so much stuff happening. And I just heard some noise there. Which was a little bit disturbing. Uh, let's go get you guys to haul this real quick. It's the middle of the night, I know, but... And you can build that just real quick. Just get some stuff done. Oh, the thrombos actually made it in. Interesting. Build the roof area. Just so it all cools down a bit. Because Jack doesn't have a cooled room right now. We have a chicken egg. Okay. Okay, so it does look like they are reproducing. That's good. We might need to actually make them a real stable. For the moment though, I'm just going to give them some animal sleeping spots back here. This is your stable. 
And wow, you guys grew this fast. This stuff's actually growing really fast. And it is fertile land, but still. Ooh, you need to strip that. I didn't think of that. Do that real quick, please. Yeah, you can wear that. Getting some new clothes. Cody's doing that. All that out of the water. Okay, now we're good. Perfect. They can haul some more stuff later. Um, where are my people at? Where are you guys doing? Cooking, sleeping, cutting, harvesting, and considering. Oh, it's already harvestable? Nice. Nice. I was not expecting a harvest that soon. Uh, even in a heat wave. Huh. Interesting. Um. Yeah, the thrombos are still over here as well. We don't have lights yet. That's something we could do, but... Oh, we're actually doing pretty good on wood right now. I think I'm going to wait for lights. I just want to get all of this wood stuff for, done first. And then we'll do that. Minor heat, heat stroke. Yeah, they are getting heat stroke in here. I'm surprised Cody hasn't... Oh, I guess it's kind of outside, so... It's not heating this room. But, uh, yeah. So, let's see. Oh, I forgot to give him a stool. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Nice. He might need a light. Uh, oh, something's down in here. Why are you down? Free food, I guess. They're probably starving, honestly. I don't really know what to do about that. They're probably going to be eating over crops. Oh... Well, that was fast. Um, let's hope that wasn't a big one. Uh, the reason why I'm so concerned about that is because those were not vanilla insects. Those would be bad too. Those would honestly be really, really bad. But this is worse. Those were the vanilla expanded insects. Um... You can hold that. I think it might be a good idea to start setting up a zone. Because I want everyone inside. Also, I need to do this anyway. Maybe those thrumbles will attack them. I don't think that's how it works. But I haven't really played with it that much. Um, this will be inside walls. But while we are technically inside a giant wall, there are holes in it. And it's not really... There are enemies already inside the walls. And the enemies actually own the walls. So these are walls that are against us, not with us. Uh, they are... It's a giant cage. It's not a giant perimeter. Really. Um, let's go ahead and get you watching this. Oh. Uh, Jack and Mary. Okay, I guess you guys can have those sleeping spot. This is so nice. I can just put it down and instantly sign instead of having to build the bed. Um, where are you? I guess you can go. Where are they? Any moment now, we could get attacked by a bunch of giant insects, and I don't know where they're coming from. We need this wall up. We really need this wall up. We need to harvest this as well. That's an entire food supply. With that said, I don't want them eating this. Uh, and not this either. Probably go and remove the plan so I can see what I'm doing. That might help. This. I wonder if those insects are even going to make it in here. Oh, wait. Was that him? Is it the rat? Where is that? Is that up here? Oh, nope. It's down here. Where are you shooting it? Oh, it's right there. That's that's it? Can we get Cody, please? Is that seriously all that it is? Wow. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thought that was going to be way worse. It's just some Mega Scarab. Wow. 
That's not at all what I was expecting. Hmm. A false alarm, I guess. I was expecting something bigger, <laughs> to say the least. And that needs to get cut. There are some pretty nasty little monsters that get at it with vanilla. Or not little. Uh, they're not little. They're big. It's pretty nasty big monsters that get added with vanilla and stuff. expanded. Um, so. I'm surprised. I mean, we saw those zombies come in before. They just walked right in. I didn't even notice them. I'm surprised we haven't seen more yet. Because there are 10 on the map. Uh, the reason why I'm not putting this as a, at a high number is because we're tribals. And it's... Not only is that unrealistic from the Maze Runner movie, but in some ways, but also there's no way we could possibly survive that. There's no way. Um, so yeah, uh, I think we might be going to... Oh, no, wait, don't. Don't plan anything there. So yeah, I think we're going to start exploring the maze yet next, but for now, we are out of time for this episode. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Stay tuned.